Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Blood Saggy Tarot. My name is Robin. I'm Cancer today, we're going to do a love reading, baby. We're going to find out what's going on in your love life, what's coming towards you, who's coming towards you, how things are going. So let's just talk about you and love and see what's going on. Spirit guides, talk to us about Cancer. What's going on with Cancer in love, in the present moment? What do you want to say? What messages you want to pass along? Please and thank you. And Cancer, while I get the cards out, I just want to announce that I am doing a contest and giving away some free readings. Um, it's my way of saying thank you for, ooh, well, let's interrupt this with this announcement. This could be the one. <laughs> You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. I kind of felt like a, like a reporter there for a moment, but um, let's finish my contest announcement while I get the rest of your cards out. <laughs> so I am giving away free readings to say thank you for supporting my channel and the growth that it's experienced and the kind words and all that, all that good stuff. So my way of saying thank you is to give away free readings. So if you want to enter, just like, comment, subscribe. On the 15th of February, I'll be replying to the winners, but I will also be, um, yeah, okay, I saw the Queen of Wands. I saw the Queen of Wands in the pre-shuffle too. I'll also be announcing the winners in the community. Everything's upside down here. I'll be announcing the winners in the community section. So um, make sure there's no scammers. If I reply to your comment, jump over to the community section, make sure that it's me, um, and let's get into your reading here. So five of cups in reverse, the devil in reverse, the four of cups in reverse, the ace of pentacles in reverse, that in the future here, we have the chariot, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the King of Cups, baby. And the, wow. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so you've um, you've released your past. So the Devil in Reverse and the Five of Cups in Reverse is meaning you've released your past. You've healed. You're a Cancer who's done the work. You haven't, you didn't jump from, you didn't partnership hop. You know how some people just go from one relationship to another to another. They don't take time in between. Not you. Um, you took the time in between to heal. If people were pursuing you, chasing you, if you were dating and they weren't the right person, you just rejected them. Um, and I feel like you've been single for a little bit here, just healing and not settling for anybody who's not the right person and enter. And there you are chariot in your energy. So the chariot's the most determined guy in the deck. He's going to get what he wants. He's going to overcome those past challenges to get the success that he wants because he's not settling, right? You're doing things right. You're not just jumping into a, a relationship with the wrong person or when you weren't healed. So I really like that. Um, this is a really nice past energy. I know everything's upside down, but <laughs> you just haven't jumped into anything. Um, the eight of wands is a lot of forward movements and communication. We got a king of cups here. So it could be another water sign like yourself, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, someone very deep, someone very intuitive, someone very emotional, but we got this soulmate connection. We got a commitment. What do you want to say about this eight of wands and these messages here for Cancer and this person? Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah. This person is very stable, very emotionally grounded. Um, you, whoa, Nelly, look at that. We have the King and the Queen of Pentacles. You're very grounded and emotionally stable as well. Um, you haven't engaged in anybody who wasn't suitable for you. Like you just walked away from the people who weren't suitable for you. I don't know how else to say that. Uh, I feel like you've rejected some people here, Cancer, and that's okay. You might've been rejecting a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but Anybody who just wasn't consistent, anybody who wasn't emotionally available, anybody who wasn't suitable for you, you just didn't engage in it. And um, I feel like you did have a lot of suitors. The king and the queen of swords, I do feel like you've had, and there's the ten of pentacles, or sorry, the ten of swords. Who are all these people in your, there's the king of pentacles again, and the queen, oh, they stayed together, I didn't shuffle. Um, yeah, you're waiting for the, you have a lot of, you have a lot of suitors here, Cancer, in your energy, so... You know, when you're attractive, when you love yourself, when you take care of yourself, people are going to be attracted to you. So you have had a lot of options. I do feel you've rejected quite a few people here. Um, and you're just being honest and real, right? You ask your questions. If you're not on the same page, bye. Um, if they don't want the same thing as you, bye. If they're not suitable, bye. Boy, bye. Girl, bye. I'm just feeling a lot of buys. You've definitely um, been waiting for the one. And you're going to be rewarded with the one. <laughs> Because here's the one. What do you want to say about this present? Well, this is the future, but um, I feel like you're meeting them here in the present or going into the future. What do you want to say about this King of Cups here and this Two of Cups? Yeah, you're dating this person. You're getting to know this person. You're, it's leading to something real. What is the Two of Swords? You're not having sex with this person. You're getting to know this person. I like that too, actually. Um, so you're not jumping into bed. You're not uh, giving into t lust, temptations, lower virtues. You're getting to know this person. You know where that leads. You know, if you sleep with someone too early, sometimes it just gives the wrong impression and it just goes down the wrong path and it just complicates things. You're dating this person. It's leading to long-term commitment, long-term potential. This is husband or wife. Um, this is, yeah, there's death. The end of, um, there's the options. 
you've had a lot of options, but I feel like you're closing them out. Maybe this person does too. You know, they're in the same energy as you. They've been rejecting a lot of people, just making sure, you know, I say rejecting like it's mean, but if you're just dating someone, it's not going anywhere. You just, you know, you just end it. You just, you're not, we're not on the same page. We don't want the right things. We're not on the, we're not looking for the same thing. So this person that you start dating here in the near future will lead to, I mean, even marriage, the 10 of pentacles and the hierophant. This is 10 plus years. This is commitment. This is loyalty. Um, but like I said, you're blocking the physicalness. So you're not jumping into bed with this person. Um, you're taking your time and getting to know them, which is beautiful. Five of swords and the high priestess. High priestess and the hierophant. That's a married couple, right? That's the hierophant and the high priestess. They're both intuitive. They're both spiritual. They're both emotionally connected to themselves. They both want the same thing. So you've met somebody that's a good match here, Cancer. You guys want the same thing, <laughs> which is marriage. Um, and you're not, and there's the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of stability in here. I cut right on her again. They have to talk about her. Is she with the king still? No, she's with the love. <gasps> the Empress. Look at this energy. This is beautiful energy. You're in an awesome spot here, Cancer. You have done the work. There's the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. You've had some mean people in the past, though. And if you get any red flags or any indication that anybody is like that, you just get rid of them. I know I keep saying that, but that's what I sense here. You're not settling for anything. And that has brought you in the lover. That's brought you in a soulmate here because you value yourself and you respect yourself. And when you set strong boundaries, you know, if you tell this person, you tell someone you want a relationship, you're not going to have sex with them. If they run, they're not the right person, right? You've set very healthy boundaries for yourself in this, and, and um, in your life here. And you're being rewarded with love. It's a stable love. Um, you could be a mother or a single mother or a single father, but there's you guys working together, talking together. There's, yeah, there's you and this King of Cups working on things, getting to know each other. Um, yeah, look at that. You could be a little worried, but um, you might be worried they're giving to other people, but I don't see that in this King's energy at all. I see a loyal King. So, and that happens when you're dating and getting to know somebody, right? Especially if you're not sleeping with them, you worry what else they're doing. So don't let those thoughts creep in your mind. Um, things are going to go well with this person. There's a very, very strong connection. Um, I like it. I like it, Cancer. Let's get you a few Oracle messages and we'll see what else you guys want to say. And then we'll get back to the tarot and we'll get your potential outcome. Okay. So what does Cancer need to surrender to when it comes to this King of Cups? What does Cancer need to surrender to? Denial. So accept people and situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties, because then you can see things clearly and you can make the best decision. So trust your intuition, right? You're not going to know everything. I feel like that's why you're getting to know this person. And the spirit animal. What's the message here? Your creativity is at a peak. <laughs> so fertility. <laughs> so uh, you know what that means. Maybe that's why you're not uh, sleeping with this person. But make sure if you don't want babies, you are wrapping that up. Um, resourcefulness. So you have all the resources that you need. So you could be in your prime, <laughs> but you have everything that you need to make it happen with this person. You know, you know, you have strong intuition, Cancer. What is the energy oracle message here? What do you want to say? What messages do you want to pass along here to Cancer about this? We got a few here. So the thinking woman in reverse, the woman holding a heart. Yeah, journey and anxiety. You have worries though. I sent that twice. There's a stability door to spirit because you have options and you know that this person has options. Every person whose husband or wife material will have options. Like I see people making comments like I'm not an option. Well, you are at the beginning. You're just you're getting to know each other. You're meeting each other. You're the option. <laughs> but you and this person have other people. Both of you have sensed it in your energy. And that's because your husband wife material. So people are going to want you. Um, they, they know that you're you have potential for long term. Right. But um, you have a big heart here. And they don't want you to hesitate giving your heart to this person. You guys are going to take a long adventure together. Maybe you'll go on a nice weekend retreat. Maybe you'll have a nice romantic trip. But they don't want you overthinking this and worrying about that. The stability, this person's not a player. This person's not entertaining all these other people. Just because people want them and want you doesn't mean you're entertaining them. If you're dating, doesn't mean you're having sex with everybody. I want to do that. They want you to walk away from that anxiety. Because this is, I just saw the caring connections. This is a strong bond with this person. Four, four, four. Four is about stability foundations, abundance, happiness. So don't, don't hesitate to give your heart to this person. I do feel like there's a fork in the road. You have these worries and these anxieties, but when it comes to this King of Cups, I don't feel you need to worry about that. Um, let's see, let's see, we'll move on. But there are worries that you have. And so clearly in the past, there's a reason for that, right? So just don't project the past into the present with this King. Um, just express your feelings, express your emotions. Like I said, if they're the right person, and this is a king of cups. So they're coming up as a water sign like yourself. So somebody who's very deep, somebody who's very emotional, someone who knows how to talk about their feelings. 
And not everybody knows how to talk about their feelings, right, Cancer? So don't be afraid to express what you want because <laughs> the right person will be understanding, especially if you talk about your fears, you know, the things you've been through in the past, stuff like that. Um, what is the caring connection between Cancer and this King of Cups, this new person here? Love. Love conquers all. That's right. That's right. Okay. Let's get back to the tarot here. Let's see what your potential outcome is. No, they want to get some advice. Oh, look, look what I stopped on. The Nine of Cups. There's the two of you making each other very, very happy. And I caught in the Nine of Pentacles. So both of you are very independent on your own. Those are the best type of relationships when you're not codependent. You don't need each other. You want each other. You know what I mean? So this is a very healthy part. Well, that just flew out. What the hell is that? The Ten of Coins and the Seven of Pentacles. Wow, can we get any better cards with you and this person? So they want you to work on it with this person, get to know this person, take your time with this person. But again, the Seven of Wands is a, a very determined energy. You're determined to find your true love. And so is this person. And that takes out weeding the weeds, right? You got to go through the garden and pick all the weeds and get them the hell out of there so you can find your flower. And you found your flower here, Cancer. That's so weird. Anyway, let's um, see what your potential outcome is. That's what they wanted to say. So when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say outcome, where are you guys in a month? How are you doing with this King of Cups? How are things progressing? What do you want to say about this for Cancer Spirit? Guys, talk to us. Whoa. There's the end of your anxiety. <laughs> There's the page of pentacles. And look, rejecting some people. And, and that nine of cups is in reverse. There's the ace of swords. Oh, I like five. Hold on. We'll note the ace of swords. Where's my fifth card? Yeah, the six of pentacles. And there's the six of cups. So um, there's still a little bit of fears here, but they want you to put an end to that. There's a, you have um, anxiety. I can see it here. The death in reverse and the strength. So just meditate, silence your mind. Make sure it's your intuition and it's not your anxiety or your fears. A lot of us have worries, fears, anxieties. It's hard, you know, to put your heart out there, right? But they want you to put your heart out there. This is a this is a big ass motherfucking heart. So they want you to move forward with this person. Um, this person is loyal. I can feel it. But you have these worries and these disappointments. I feel like it's coming from both ends. So you've both been hurt in the past. But look at this. There's two people. There's two bucks. There's two offers. And she's got her hand on this and she's taking this offer. So that's both of you removing the other options from your life and moving forward together. You're giving to one another. This is about a giving and receiving. But it's an equal giving and receiving, right? It's weeding out the weeds and taking your flower <laughs> and giving your flower. I don't know why I keep using that. It's such a weird, I don't know what the hell is my problem, Cancer. But the Six of Pentacles is about a balance and an equal give and take. This person is going to give the way you give. They have a heart like you. They're not going to be someone who's going to take, 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 right? And a lot of the Six of Pentacles, there's just hands taking and taking, but there's not. These bugs are giving back. They're sharing with each other. They're talking. They're working through things, but it's an equal partnership, right? Because there's a soul connection. There's a strong bond and there's the past and there's the page of cups. So you both have pasts. You both have those doubts. So just talk about them. I see these doubts and I see these insecurities coming on both ends. So you both have been hurt in the past, but you both have also healed from that. So it's just about talking about that and not being afraid to talk about being hurt because um, they want you to end those anxieties. Death and rebirth and reverse with the strength um, is just ending those anxieties, <laughs> not letting those thoughts get in the way of things here. This is a strong bond. I see you working together. I see you moving forward. I see you guys pushing away the competition. He's like, wait a minute. I want my cancer, motherfucker. But she's like, nah, I'm just going to go here. Um, so I see loyalty um, between the two of you, but I see a little bit of anxiety and fear about other options. So just be open with your feelings because I feel that this person's very in touch with their feelings as well. You guys are moving towards commitment. That's what I got for you, Cancer. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it benefited you. Um, if you like my style, if you want to enter that contest, you know what to do. If you want a personal reading, you can also just go to my website and get one as well. Um, but let's get your final message here to close this off. So Spirit Guides, what do you want to say to Cancer? What do you want to say to Cancer? If your compassion does not include yourself, mm -hmm, it is incomplete. So forgive yourself for yesterday's mistakes and practice gratitude in the present moment. That is what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.